Welcome back to the Tried Truth. My name is Mike. This is my channel and I appreciate all my subscribers. Today I'm going to review a new chain and pendant that I bought from Jacoji Fine Jewelry. And um, let's see here. Anyway, I asked a question in my last video. Um, some of my subscribers responded and uh, the question was what what uh, pendant uh, chain combination they recommended. And uh, I got a lot of responses. And um, the majority all said the same thing that I was already thinking, the standard angel pendant. So obviously by the title of the video, you already know that. So uh, looks like the rose gold emblem on the white box. I'll add that to the box collection I've got growing here. Um, anyway, um, I'm really excited about this. Ooh, wow, guys. First one I've seen yet, a purple sticker. So, so you know, I have noticed that the, he's got the, the purple logo on some of the shirts going on right now. I don't know if that's for sale on the website yet or not. Anyway, we'll get right to it. I'm not going to waste your time. So, you know the presentation. Two-day air shipping. Um, I ordered it on Wednesday at around 3 o'clock at 3.12. I received a shipping order um, and I received it Saturday morning at uh, 1130 so that's fast so look at that anyway here's your card this is the how it comes you know you get the nice thick uh, this is really a nice perforated card uh, Jacoji gold emblem on there tells you all about what your order is, uh, what's in the box or whatever, however you want to say it. Um, you know, the carrot, the weight, if there's diamonds, it'll let you know who packaged it. Raquel, uh, somebody who works there, I don't know if she's family or what, but uh, anyway, there you have that. So then you open the box, like I said, you get the sticker, the card, and then the pouch. So you pull that out. I've done this many times and I don't know if this is uh, something you're looking into. Maybe you're worried about ordering online. Look, uh, he doesn't have the overhead prices of um, a department store, so you'll get better prices on his merchandise. Okay, so when you order a pendant and a chain, they usually will put the pendant inside of a pouch by itself, a velvet pouch, and the chain hanging out so that it doesn't scratch the pendant. Now, I went with 18 karat gold, and I'm going to tell you why uh, here in a minute. So anybody's interested in shopping online for some jewelry or if you're gonna buy a piece from Jacoji I'm gonna give you some tips on why I chose the 18 karat gold and anyway oh look this is even drawn up tight here so anyway this is the three millimeter Jacoji link um, chain I did get it in 18 karat with the 18 karat standard angel pendant and there it is wow what a beauty look at that guys glorious shiny Oh man, look how pretty that is, man. You know, um, my one worry about this pendant was I thought, wow, this is might be a little feminine, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it is. I, I think anybody can wear this, and I really don't care because I'm going to wear it. I'm going to rock it, and I'm going to rock it proudly. So I, I like it a lot. So um, anyway, check that out. So that's about the size of it. So it's standard angel. I guess if I had to, you know, say it's about the size of a quarter, like in, you know, top to bottom, maybe bigger. I mean, it's an inch and a half, I believe. So I don't know, maybe an inch and three quarters or an inch and a, inch and a quarter. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, this is the three millimeter Jacoji link. It is diamond cut. So you have round links. You have round links and uh, the side is slightly shaved diamond cut so you get this really nice lustrous gleam that just shines off of it every time you move I mean look at this thing look at this look at that shine every time like um, I think the Chikoji link I've slept on it I you know I've, I had a heavy link before um, I kept it quite a while I liked it a lot but I, I just, uh, you know, I wanted something different, so I got rid of it. Anyway, uh, the Jacoji link, um, if you want to support Jacoji, I recommend this chain 
not just for that reason, but because it's, it's just an awesome chain, guys. I mean, you get the look of a heavy link, but you don't have to pay the price of a heavy link. Uh, so, and you know, he's got these in, right now he's got them in 4.3 millimeter. He's got the 3.8 millimeter, the three millimeter, which is what this is. Um, anyway, um, he, he's even got them in two, maybe even in one and a half, 1.2, I don't know. But uh, whatever your price range is, whatever you're looking for, he's got it. So anyway, let's just talk about the Angel Pendant some more. So there it is. It's nice, guys. I'm telling you, it's so nice. Um, the details are great. And just so you know, the head's not gigantic. It's proportioned properly. It's just got... Uh, a little afro thing going on there you know and um it's really awesome looking pendant um i like the look of it a lot um in fact i'll tell you if you if you watch lord of the rings aragon he um he had this pendant this amulet or whatever you want to call it that he got from uh whoever lived tyler tyler played but anyway um it's it kind of reminds me of that a little bit you know i thought that was really awesome but it, it was hers. She gave it to him in the movie. Um, it it kind of has that design and style a little bit, but it's an angel, obviously. And maybe whatever that was represented a fairy or an angel. I don't know. But uh, I just like the look of this a lot, man. It's really cool. So I'll tuck these in. So still rocking my 6.5 mil, six millimeter rope and um, the 4 millimeter, um, four millimeter figure rope. And uh, I'll get them all tangled up. Okay, so here it is. Standard Angel on the 3 millimeter Jacoji link. So, you know, um, yeah, like I said, I, I, think it, I think it looks good. Really goes well with the black shirt. Um, white shirt, it's really going to pop too. Um, when you're wearing white, it, it just, I don't know what it is. It does something to the gold. It really sets it off. But... Uh, Black does too. And uh, anyway, again, why did I choose 18 karat? Well, I'm going to tell you, it all started with the pendant. It, it, when I went into it, it really wasn't about whether or not I was going to get 18 karat or 14 karat. It didn't make much of a difference to me until I started looking at the prices. When you're looking at Jacoji's pendants, and maybe he does this to, to sell more 18 karat gold chains. I'm not sure. But when you're looking at his pendants, Whatever pendant you're looking at, if you look at the option for 18 karat, it's usually only a few bucks more. Like the, I, I'm thinking, I was looking at this as the mini, and I think the difference was $50 or $150. So when I looked at this one, it was, uh, I think, $150 difference to go from 14 karat to 18 karat. So why not? So I figured, okay, I'll get the 18 karat instead. In fact, I think the... 14 karat was 850. Now, the, the, I'm just, I'm going on memory, guys. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I think 850 uh, for this, uh, and it's around 10 grams. Anyway, 18 karat was only like one gram heavier, and it was only $150 more, I think. Maybe not even that to get the 18 karat. But when I did that, it more than limited me because of what he had in stock as far as chains go. Now, I probably would have got a, a larger Chikoji link, maybe even the 4.3 millimeter, which could have possibly been too big for this pendant. Um, but let's say the 3.8 millimeter Chikoji link, but he didn't have it in 18 karat. So if I'm going to get an 18 karat pendant, I want an 18 karat chain to go with it. So I basically... I looked at the ropes. There wasn't a lot going on with uh, what was in stock for smaller chains. I was thinking the three millimeter 18 karat rope, but when I saw the three millimeter 18 karat Jacoji link, um, I was like, okay, that'll work. And uh, I, I, I feared, man, it's going to be too small, but it's not. It, it's perfect. I thought it would be too small, but it, it's really not. I, I think it looks great. Um, good look, you know. I think it's a really good look. So. Anyway, so there it is. And it is a heavy pendant, guys. It says on the card, show it to you again if you didn't see it before. 
might be hard to see focus or whatever but uh well all together it's 32.4 grams i believe the pendant is 10 something you know i haven't weighed it i just got it so i haven't I haven't even weighed it but i'm not sure um anyway so i think the pendant's around 10 grams I mean, you know what? I'm kind of curious. I'm going to go ahead and weigh it. I don't normally do this, but uh, I'll go ahead and do it this time, guys. Let's just see what the 18 karat pen weighs by itself. Um, all right. I'll also try it on the 4 millimeter figure rope, see what that looks like. I think it'd be useless to try it on the 6.5 millimeter rope. I don't. I know it wouldn't look right, so... So the only thing I'm not wearing of Jokoji is my watch today. So uh, everything else is Jokoji. He doesn't do watches just yet. Give the man a minute. Maybe he will. I don't know. Okay. So all right. Again, we'll check out the Jokoji link. It's a good looking link, guys. I'm telling you, it, it really is. And uh. It's, it's kind of heavy for um, for a 3 millimeter, 22 inches, in case I didn't say that. This is 22 inches, 18 karat. Let's go to grams. Okay, so the chain weighs 21 grams, okay? So 21 grams for the chain, probably a little more. That's how my scale operates. So, yeah, the chain's 21 grams. And here is the standard angel pendant, and it weighs by itself 12 grams, which is uh, more than the website says. I, I think the website says it weighs uh, 10 point something, but uh, I'm telling you, the bale itself, look at the size of this thing. And you know, um, that bale does not take away from the appearance of the, of the angel. I mean, because it's, you know, the way you look at it from the front, it's just thin. So it, it almost looks like an extension of your chain. So it blends right in. You don't even notice it. The old angel pendant, the, it had a bale mounted to the back, like a hidden bale or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, um, as far as the difference in 18 karat and 14 karat, we'll check that out real quick here. Let's put this angel on the four millimeter figure rope, see how that looks. So anyway, let's just see if you can see a difference in the gold. But I will show you one thing. Look at the difference in a three millimeter and a four millimeter chain. That is drastic. Very drastic difference. I mean, one millimeter can make all the difference in the world. A half a millimeter does too, because I've had the six millimeter rope before, but when I got this 80 gram beast, this six and a half millimeter rope, the difference was like, wow, I was used to the six millimeter rope. And um, when I got this, I thought, man, this thing's gigantic. So anyway, three millimeter Jokoji link, four millimeter figure rope. So, um, and I was just asked, the other day, um, what's the width on the flat rings? Well, you know, if you're talking about from top to bottom, I think it's around eight millimeters on the flat rings, okay? But if you're going side to side, I don't even know, um, probably 12 or 14 millimeters, maybe even 15 millimeters if you're going side to side, I don't know. Um, anyway, what was I doing? All right, we're gonna put the Angel on the figure rope, see how that looks. You know, first uh, thing I, I also want to add, you know, I didn't buy these to rock them all together. That's not my thing. So as far as that goes, you know, it's not a stacking issue. So I'm not doing that anyway. So, okay, here is the standard angel on the figure rope. In the comments, you can let me know which one you prefer as far as what, how would you wear it. Um, I would like to have a different chain set up. So the next pendant I get is probably going to be the quarter or half ounce uh, American Eagle. I've been looking at it. I don't really want the diamonds. I'm not in it for the flash. I just want the, the more pure gold, and I love the appearance. 
the the half ounce might be too big i'm thinking maybe the quarter ounce and it's not even about the money i don't care about that i just want i want it to to look right i i want it to look like something you can wear without making overstating the issue if you will so anyway um the only issue i have with this is the difference in the gold you know you got 18 karat here 14 karat here in the end who cares uh it's not that big of a difference noticeable difference so let me um let me put this closer to the camera and you guys can see that uh, see how it looks so again this is the four millimeter figure rope and you get with figure ropes you get a more true uh, size on the rope I don't know why I'm, I'm not sure so I've heard Jacoji say it before Braden I've heard him say it before that uh, they're more true to size as far as you know you get a four millimeter rope and a four millimeter figure rope that because of the diamond cutting process even though i gotta tell you the figure rope is diamond cut as well so i'm not sure but these are machine made in italy whereas the um the figure rope i'm sorry the regular ropes are made in peru so could be something to do with that i'm not sure guys so anyway there's that as compared to three millimeter um anyway it depends on my mood I don't know I might wear it like this just just I don't know maybe once in a while I like the way it looks on the on the Jacoja thing and just uh, just for reference here let's see how the three millimeter 22 inch Jacoja link looks by itself Braden recommends the 20 inch for this look um, he wears an 18 karat 20 inch all the time doesn't take it off he says um you know i think the 22 inch looks just as good to me if it were a 20 inch it would uh be pulled back about an inch if i can get it to cooperate here maybe right there i don't know no a little bit long maybe something like that right there i don't know but uh I don't know how the camera is making this look, guys. I, I will tell you now, it's subtle, but the shine factor is there. Uh, the, the purity of the gold, it's beautiful. It's a real deep orange. It's uh, it's nice. I mean, it does the job. It gets it done, so whatever you're into. Um, and as far as the price on the chain, oh, man, I can't remember. You're going to have to go on and look. I can't. I can't remember how much the chain by itself costs. Altogether, it, it's over two. It's just over two grand for the combination of the 18 karat, 22 inch, three millimeter Jacoji link with the standard angel pendant. So, anyway, um, like I said before, if you go on his website, um, all the prices are there. Uh, this isn't a bad look. It's it's really not. I don't know if the chain takes away from the angel or not but here's one issue i have with it because it's a figure rope you're going to get this sometimes so when you're wearing it it's going to be pushed off to the side when you move certain ways so if you see exactly what i'm saying and to me it's chaos if you have any level of ocd that's going to bother you um and i kind of do I can't stand anything like it. if I have a chain that flips I can't stand it um, so won't get into that today but there it is um, just for the heck of it we'll go ahead I, I, now if you're gonna wear this on a five six millimeter chain I do recommend you go up a step and get the large which is uh, a little bigger but if I don't do this somebody's gonna put it in the comments and say oh why didn't you do that and then they're probably going to ask me, oh, will it fit, you know? Well, let's find out. And the answer is yes. It will fit on a 6.5 millimeter rope. That bale is huge. You could probably go as far as a 7 millimeter. But that is, uh, it makes the pendant look like a runt. It's definitely not a good look. So there it is. I know you guys want me to put it on. All right, we'll do that. Can 
can hear it in the comments already. 6.5 millimeter rope, standard angel pendant. Does it work? I don't know. I think it looks a little tiny, a little small for, for a rope like that. I mean, it probably looks better on the figure rope than it does on that. So, anyway, I think I'll go back to my original chain that I bought it for. And that's this one. So, that's not a horrible look there. If I, um, you know, if I had a bigger pendant, it might, it might look okay. But I, I, I don't know, guys. I like it the way I got it. And the reason I like it that way is because I wanted something nice, a little bit dressy, and a little bit subtle. So, um, again, if I'm going to, you know, dress the part, you know, I kind of want something that um, I can just wear for certain occasions, something not overdone. And that's why I bought the setup I did. So anyway, we'll put it back on the three millimeter chain. And I just think it looks better to me. And you know, it's, it's preference, but uh, I think it looks better on the three millimeter personally. I mean, it, you know, the four millimeter is not a bad look either. Um, depending on the chain, I think it would look great on the 4.3 millimeter Jacoji link. And, oh, man, I'm so impatiently waiting for the release of the 5 millimeter Jacoji link. So impatient. So it should be a little cheaper than his 5 millimeter. It should be a little cheaper than the 5 millimeter heavy link. So if you're wondering how much that's going to hit for, you can always remember that they're not as heavy as the heavy link. So hopefully um, it's not. And that five millimeter heavy links a little bit pricey so so there it is that's the way i like it right there guys i mean the 3.8 millimeter jacoji link probably would look a little bit better to me for my own taste but this is a, a a great look i mean absolutely a great look nothing wrong with it at all so it's a good size pendant so i'm happy with it thanks for the recommendations everybody you know uh, like i said most people they all pretty much all said go with this a uh, few people said the lion um i know uh, ryan peasley has that uh he's got the quarter ounce diamond uh american eagle pendant and um He's made a, quite a few videos of it. You can check that out. Uh, his channel is called Gold by the Ounce. Check that out. It's a great pendant at the quarter ounce. And he switches it up on different chains and stuff like that too. So if you want a reference of the pendant I'm interested in, I, I think I'd go without the diamonds. Uh, I'll probably get uh, I'll probably get the quarter ounce because um, if I was going to get a pendant for the 6.5 millimeter rope, I'd get the half ounce. I think that would look great. Um, but also I'd probably want to get an 18 karat chain for that because that thing at 20, 22 karat gold, it's not going to match the chain hardly at all. So anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. It's a whole different story. Uh, I'll, I'll cut it short guys. So that's the review of, uh, the standard angel pendant from Jacoji. You can uh, check him out at Jacoji.com. Um, so until next time, you know, uh, I wish you all the best.